We're at the Torrey Pines State Natural Reserve Extension in Del Mar Heights. It's an extension of the main Torrey Pines Reserve that many people are more familiar with. It's the quieter part of the preserve. We're here today with Margaret Phileas, who's a volunteer extraordinaire, uh, an incredible botanist. And Margaret, I'm wondering if you could tell us what's going on in this area around us. Why is this special for botany at Torrey Pines? This is a particularly special area because of the existence of a very rare plant, a federally endangered plant, the Corizanthe orcatiana, or orchid spine flower. Orchids, right. So the, there are only five known populations. And I think four of those are Point Loma, and one of them is up here right. near Del Mar. Right. So some of these little tiny plants in here, some of these are orcut spine flower. When you're out surveying for orcut spine flower, what are you looking for that's different about that tiny little plant than the other tiny little spine flowers that grow near it? Yeah, good question. What struck me then was that it was a slightly different color and just had a, a, an overall different appearance. It tends to have a, a bluer appearance with a little bit of red along the stem. As I'm looking through here, I see incredibly sandy soil. In some areas, it looks like we're at the beach. And I guess that makes sense if some of the bluffs around here millions of years ago were old sand dunes. Is there a correlation between these sandy soils and the ore cut spine flower? There seems to be. Uh, that's certainly the case at Point Loma and here. The Chaparral Lands Conservancy is organizing an effort around the Rarest Plants Project to conduct surveys throughout the range of ore cut spine flower. Uh, we've mapped all of the special soils and we've sent out volunteers. Margaret has been incredibly helpful um, right, right. following up on her own efforts to join in our uh, volunteer survey effort to check out new areas where the spine flower might grow. Uh, we were out here the other day where we had a large group of people learning and getting oriented to what the spine flower's habitat looks like since it's so specialized um, in learning what the actual plant looks like. So one of the areas that uh, we've been conducting surveys, and I say we, I mean Margaret, has been conducting surveys is the Crest Canyon uh, Open Space Natural Park in uh, Del Mar Heights. It's owned by the city of Del Mar and the city of San Diego. And the area had fantastic habitat and we have some really good news to relate. Can you tell us about that? Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> what did we find? We found a good population. Wow, wow. So that's now so six populations right, known right. on the entire planet of Orcutt spine flower. These sun-blasted cliffs behind me are the home to an incredibly rare and special little succulent plant called the short-leaved Dudleya, or short-leaved live forever. They call it live forever because it grows from a perennial root, so it re-sprouts every year. And the thing is just incredibly tiny. At its very biggest, it'll get about an inch and a half tall. Sometimes it'll spread a little bit more, but it's a very tiny plant. And one of the things that's so special about it is that it grows in these areas where these, these little round marble-like pebbles that are all through here, sometimes when you walk, you even roll on them and slip. And the Dudley over time has evolved to appear as if it's one of these pebbles to avoid being eaten by rabbits or squirrels or other herbivores that might nibble on it for its uh, yummy moisture. So this area that we're looking at, these bluffs, is one of only five places on the entire planet where this plant now grows. There used to be several more around Del Mar, Carmel Valley, Torrey Pines, but all of those areas have been bulldozed for development over the last few decades. One of the biggest threats to the short-leaved Dudley besides the development that's happened, so even though this area is preserved, uh, it's still heavily trampled. So we've been installing fencing as part of the Rarest Plants Project at the Chaparral Lands Conservancy to try and protect this plant and others from trampling. Many visitors to the Crest Canyon Preserve, Torrey Pine State Natural Reserve, come to these areas for uh, some of the incredibly scenic views and beautiful pine trees. There's so much more going on at these preserves. They're just wonderful for the richness of life. And here, you know, for the Rare Plants Project by the Chaparral Lands Conservancy, these little tiny plants that we're trying to protect. And that's why it's so critical that when visitors come to these areas, you stay on marked trails, not go exploring into different areas because you never know what might end up underfoot. And these plants are, they're just incredible. They're the glue that really holds the ecology of this area together. We might not have Torrey Pines. We might not have all of this beautiful chaparral if it weren't for these little tiny plants that hold everything together.